two weeks. That's all we got. It's two weeks before the Buffalo Roundup. Soldier Creek Bison is coming up fast. Just two weeks from now, we'll be running all his animals through that corral, and my family, Broken Arrow Bison, will be taking on all the heifer calves. But first, we need to do some prep work today. wondering what kind of prep work needs to be done before we get the animals since we already have buffalo anyway that's a fair enough question first I need to run up to the barn though and grab a couple tools and then I'll explain what I'm doing with all these See, let me explain something. One of the major difficulties to raising buffalo is when you transport them, they have a little bit of some homing pigeon in them. And what I mean by that is when you transport them, they know where they came from. They want to go back to where they came from. I've got a really good friend who bought a whole truckload of buffalo from North Dakota. He brought them to Kansas City, and the moment he let them out in his field, one cow turned around, jumped the gate, and took off straight to North Dakota. It's crazy, but they actually know where they came from, just like homing pigeons. So when we bring these animals onto the ranch, we're gonna have to make sure they stay here until they get settled in. And that is where the corral comes into play. I've actually witnessed some of our buffalo do that also. Whenever I've brought them home, they seem like they pace in the exact area where they came from. If they came from up north, they'll pace on that north fence. If they came from down south, they'll pace on that south fence and they'll find whatever weak spot is. So the fix to all this is to build a corral and bring them home into that corral. And hopefully, cross your fingers, they don't get out of that corral and the corral is strong enough to hold them.
Let's see if she'll start. She's alive. There's no way I would be able to count how many times someone has asked me if buffalo are really hard to keep in. That seems to be one of the number one questions I get whenever people find out that I raise this animal. Well, there's two scenarios where I would say, yes, they are hard to keep in. The rest of the time, I would say no. Number one being when you put them into a corral for the first time. That corral needs to be tall and it needs to be stout. The second being whenever you put them into a fence area for the first time. The first time that they see that area, they want to go around all four corners. So the first initial time that they see that fence or corral, it needs to be strong and it needs to be working. Okay, trick question. What do buffalo and humans have in common that they all need? all bushy ready for the winter that's the girls cat they keep changing his name about every week Tom Adam Ludlow I can't keep track anymore he's a good mouser though so here's the latest update on the garden what we found last year was the soil out here is so bad because this whole area was cropped for a number of years and it's really depleted we had a struggle with getting the garden to actually produce anything last year, Heidi and I did. So what we decided to do is we enclosed the garden with hog panels and we've got the chickens running in there now. There's somewhere around 30 chickens in there running to try to get that compost built up. But I've had a number of people say that I need to do some cover crops in there but I can't do that at the same time I do the chickens. I also think I need to bring in some buffalo manure or cow manure into there too. It's really hard having the chickens in there at the same time you have a cover crop, but I think I need to do one or the other, and I don't think the chickens are gonna do enough to the soil by next year. So I'd really be curious as to know what you guys think I should do with this garden this winter before the growing season. Let me know in the comments below. It's crazy to think in just two weeks time, we're gonna be out at Soldier Creek's place. We're gonna be corralling all those animals. I really can't wait to see the rest of the buffalo to join these guys. We're gonna go from six animals to maybe 25, 30 animals, depending upon how many heifers end up coming from Soldier Creek's calves. It's gonna be a blast to watch. Fall has finally set in, and man, it just feels great out here. The air is so crisp. 
The sunrises and sunsets are just magnificent out here on the ranch. We've got the corral finally set up now and water going to it. So we have a couple more loose ends to tie up next week, but we're on the right track. Fortunately, we're getting very, very close to this actually coming to fruition. It's been a while since we've had this many buffalo. Last heard we had somewhere around 20 animals. We took a five year break, ended up with these six last year. So now it's gonna be a blast to be able to get back up and even beyond those numbers that we had before. Every year it's just gonna be ticking bigger and bigger and we are just ecstatic that this is coming to fruition with Soldier Creek. We'll see you guys next time.